Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 802 for technical and vocational schools. It is Unit 9, Lesson 5, Comparatives. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 1 Students Book. A notebook or a piece of paper. Three, a pen or a pencil. Number four, a dictionary. Lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use comparatives in writing sentences. So, what is the comparatives? Look at the square we have. Number one, the square is, and you have to use an adjective to describe that square. We have small. Number two, look at the circle. The circle is than the square. We would like to compare both shapes, the square and the circle. So we use smaller. So we use adjectives to describe. You see, the adjective small is describing the square. And square is a noun. We also use them to compare, to compare. Look at smaller. It is comparing the circle and the square. All right, now we come to form and the comparatives. We have rule, form, examples. Let's take a look at the first rule. We have most one-syllable adjectives. What do you do with that? You add an adjective plus ER. Let's take a look. We have fast which is one syllable adjective. If you have that, you add ER to it. Another example to one syllable adjectives, tall. You notice it is a small or a short adjective. It becomes taller, you add ER. Small, another one syllable adjective, you add ER. Old, becomes older. Second rule, you have one syllable that ends in E. So what do you do with that? You have the adjective, you just add R. Let's take a look. You have nice, which is a one syllable adjective that ends in E. So you add the R. Blue ends in E, you add R. Wise ends in E, you just add R. Safe you add R. All of them are one syllable. We have one syllable that ends in a vowel. Do you remember the vowels? They are A, E, I, O, U. So, if anybody, if, if the one syllable adjective that has a vowel, then a consonant, which is the rest of the letters, what do you do? You have the adjective, you double the consonant, you write it again, and then ER. Let's take a look. Big, B I G. I is a vowel, and G is a consonant. You double the G. Big, bigger. Hot, hotter. Slim, slimmer. Fat, fatter. Two syllables that end in Y. So you have the adjective, you have the Y, and the I, E, R. But what do you do with the Y? You cross it, and you write I, E, R. Let's take a look. Pretty is a two-syllable adjective. You have the Y, you take out the Y, and you add I, E, R. Happy is another two-syllable adjective. You cross out the Y, you add I, E, R. And then, a fourth rule, multi-syllables. You write more adjective than. Let's take a look. You have more modern than. Modern is a multi-syllable. It is actually, in fact, two-syllable adjective. More modern than. You have more beautiful than. Beautiful is a three-syllable uh, adjective. Sometimes we write more, 
sometimes we write less. It depends on the meaning. Less adjective than. Less difficult than. Less expensive than. The multisyllable adjectives come often very long and longer than the one syllable adjectives. You have common exceptions. So we do not have a rule for them. For example, good becomes better. You do not add anything. You change the whole adjective. Bad, worse. You have far. It becomes farther. Farther. All right? And sometimes becomes further. It depends. If it's a distance, you write farther. If it's an abstract meaning, you say further. Do you have anything further to say? You have little, you say less. Much, you say more. Just like here, more and less. You have a task. Question. Convert the adjectives to their comparative form in the following. You have a mark of four. Question number one. Long. Change that into a comparative form. All right. Let's take a look. Longer. It is a one-syllable adjective. You just add ER. Number two. Expensive. All right, let's take a look. More expensive. It is a multisyllable adjective. You have to add more. Three, good. Let's take a look. Better. It is an exception. You have to change the adjective. Fit. Let's take a look. Fitter, which is a vowel plus a consonant. You have to double the, vowel, the consonant. All right. Mark yourself out of four, and let's carry on. Forming the comparative sentence. You have a subject plus verb to be plus adverb plus comparative plus than plus Object. For example, subject, the ball. Verb to be for the ball is. A sample, adverb, much. Lighter is a one syllable adjective that is added with er. Then you write then as it is, then the object, which is iron, which is very heavy. The ball is much lighter than the iron. Okay, let's take a look at another example. The kids, subject. Verb to be for kids are. Adverb, a lot. Younger is the comparative, from young, than their dad. The kids are a lot younger than their dad. Third example, that flower is, you see, the adverb is between brackets, so it means it is an optional thing. So, the flower is prettier, prettier than this one. All right. The car is faster. You see, sometimes you do not need to write the adverb or even the than or object. It is well known. The car is faster, and you are comparing it to a well-known thing, which is between common cars. Okay? All right, we have task two. Practice on comparatives. Complete the paragraph with the comparative form of adjectives from the box. Answer in your notebooks. You have about six adjectives, close, Convenient, expensive, friendly, good, and small. And you have a paragraph. Some people think that small local stores 
R, and you have the first gap. Large, small stores. Now let's take a look at the answer. You have a mark of five to worry about. The answer is better than large mall stores. So we have chosen good for that and we have changed it using the comparatives. Now you have five minutes to answer this.
All right, now let's take a look at the model answer. Number two is closer. Number three, more convenient. Number four, friendlier than. Number five, smaller. Number six, less expensive. So please check those answers and give yourself a marker out of five. Now let's move to task number three. In your notebooks, answer the following. B, question. Write four sentences in comparatives using the following. You have a mark of eight. Number one, bananas, cheap, apples. You have to use these three words to create uh, a comparative. Two, the movie, interesting, the radio. Three, the mother's food, good, the restaurants. Four, the TV, much heavy, my phone. Now you have five minutes to do this.
All right, now let's take a look at the model answer. But before, before you do that, you have to self-correcting tools to use. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now let's move to the model answer and let's check B. Number one, bananas are cheaper than apples. Number two, the movie is more interesting than the radio. Three, my mother's food is better than the restaurants. Number four, the TV is much heavier than my phone. Well done. Give yourself a tap on the back for finishing the lesson and give yourself three marks. Then calculate the final mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. Now, you are able to use comparatives in writing sentences. And you have a total mark of 20. Now, if you have 100%, that means 20 marks, correct answers, then proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or above, that means 15 marks, you can go back to the lesson, to the part you failed in, and redo that. If you have 75% or lower, that means um, 15 marks, redo the whole lesson. As always, Practice makes perfect. Good luck. Thank you for your attention.